Good afternoon everyone. Guess who I am? <laughs> you already know, surely, okay? But if you don't, I am Dan the Scrapper, okay? Dan the Scrapper, and that is... I think this video has already started bad. <laughs> already started bad. It doesn't matter, okay? Look, tomorrow we're going to hit the scrapyard and do some selling off, clear some stock from the uh, under the house here. It's all ready to go. So we can uh, make a bit of the uh, kitchen, kitchen, a bit of the mean green thing, if you know what I mean, okay? So right now I'm in the process. In fact, I haven't chucked a single thing on the trailer, okay? <laughs> but I am in the process of loading the trailer. I'm kind of just dragging some of the stuff out so it's easy to show you guys before mind the noise before I throw it on so I'm gonna just give you a little bit of a glimpse of what I'm gonna chuck on the trailer and take for tomorrow but I'm not gonna show you the other stuff because I don't know exactly everything I'm going to take tomorrow just yet. I'm just going to load up the stuff that is an absolute certainty. And the other stuff, well, is a bit of an um and ah, okay? But for now, there's definitely going to be a few dollars there. The usual sort of uh, three to four grand as a guess, but um, we'll see how we go. Yeah, uh, three to four grand for tomorrow is, a, is usually a fair assumption. But anyway, Let's just stop the yabba yabba and the boring chit chat and I'll show you some of the stuff that we're going to take. So there's this. We'll start off with this wheelie bin. This wheelie bin is getting close to being full with number one copper. Clean copper pipe. Roughly 60 to 70 kilos worth as an estimate. Here, number two copper pipe. This is all from stripping air cons. So this is just cream. Cream, my friends, cream. Then we have some air con compressors. There's a couple there, not an awful lot, but there is more, like here, and a couple here. Nothing too exciting, but there's a couple there, and it all adds up. I'm not taking that bucket of bright because that's my free stuff and it's not heavy enough to, for me to worry about. And then we have all these rats. Okay, me and the wife have been busy, mainly the wife. We have been busy doing air cons, although this big stuff here, that was me and her. Well, probably mostly me, I guess, fair to say. But the uh, this sort of stuff here, these are from air con heads. The bulk of that was her. And today we finished what remained. We have more rats here. We have some drums of electric cable. Totally awesome. And then we come to the back room where all the heads were hiding. And here we have some more rats. More rats. And these are my free rats from the free shit I've got. And all the rats are gone. I mean, look at it. All the aircon heads are done. Unreal. I am so happy. Because I don't want to have 117 aircon heads to do at Christmas. But we are only February. And there is a long way to go until Christmas. So who knows what will happen. And that brings me back to where we started. So I'm going to load up the trailer. And um, once I'm totally finished which will be tomorrow morning because I'm going to load up, as I told you already, I'm not, I'm not going to explain it again, okay? But tomorrow morning, I'll be back to give you the quick rundown of everything that I'm going to take and then stick around long enough. Don't be a stranger, okay? Don't be shy. If you stick around long enough, you'll even see how much I got paid and you'll see what the current prices are for me, okay? Yes, everyone's prices are different, so it's kind of irrelevant, but nonetheless, 
you can just get an idea at what I get for this current moment. So anyway, I'm out of here and I'll be back very soon. Time for me to load up. Well, good morning, scrappers. We are back. And after last night's trailer loading, this is the fine result. That is all of it. So I've added a couple couple things. I've chucked in my free rags that I've uh, collected from the free air coins I've got. Uh, I've got this cast aluminium um, extruded alley frame. And I've got this uh, nice big piece of aluminium, which I found in the bin. I've also got my uh, heat sink from a uh, solar inverter that I've scrapped, one I saw that I pulled out of the bin. Uh, I've also bought my uh, three free compressors, which were from the air coins. And as you can see, that big round, uh, wound up roll of aluminium cable, but there is more. Adding to the cellar, we're also uh, getting rid of this stuff. Okay, some of this stuff I had trouble removing the steel from, or the wife just chucked it in there. Um, domestic copper. Luckily, no, it's not domestic. Um, it's actually graded as irony, brass, brass irony. Okay, that's what they grade it as. A bit of uh, FE aluminium. Depends on what they want to call it, high return. Uh, this is more of my free stuff, stainless steel. Uh, that's the uh, stainless steel box from the um, solar inverter I scrapped. One I pulled out of the bin. Got these things here as well. These were all from out of the bin. And I got my box of uh, circuit boards, also my free stuff. And then the last one is this thing here. Yes, it is a. Uh, plate from a uh, tombstone um, it was for uh, an auntie of mine that died I think it was two years ago uh, the weight of it's pretty good uh, my dad gave it to me because um, they had this one made up and then I don't know they changed it and then they uh, had another one made so dad said I can have this one to scrap and I believe it's going to be uh, gunmetal brass very heavy so, uh, it's unfortunate, but nonetheless, it's a score for me. Now, I've had to drag at the compressor because uh, after walking around the car in the morning, I've noticed we have a slow leak in the tyre. Yep, she's a little bit low. I pumped it up a couple of weeks ago because for the same reason it was low. It was, it was like down to 30 psi or whatever it was or less. And um, yep, she's gone back down a little bit. So uh, I'll get some air into that and see if I can uh, just scrap a little bit more extruded aluminium which I've got out the back if I've got time. I've got to take the kids to school very soon so I might run out of time but anyway. Let's get this pumped up and by that stage we should be almost ready to head off. There it is. It's around about 17 PSI. It's a bit low. Let's fill her up. There we go, that's better. Beautiful. A touch high but with a slower leak, it'll be down to what it should be soon enough. Welcome back scrappers. Last you would have seen me was putting air in the tyre. Well, the gauge of it anyway. We're finally home from our scrap sell-offs for the day. We could have been home a hell of a lot earlier, but we stopped at the shops. We had lunch and we bought stuff and we had stuff for dinner and all sorts of well, ingredients anyway. Went to the bottle shop to buy the bare essentials, if you know what I mean, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so um today's sell-off wasn't too bad nothing too exciting uh the free stuff wasn't too bad um not as much as i got as a fortnight ago but again it was free i ain't arguing um business side of things wasn't too bad 
But on this occasion, it's always the case that I just should have bought that little bit more. As in, to get us over the mark, um, I could have bought the 16 kilos of uh, clean brass I've got, or I could have bought the 25 plus kilos of bright and shiny. I could have bought electric motors, but um, I didn't bring it. And therefore, you know, any one of those would have toppled us over the line to uh, the usual sort of ballpark figure. Well, the minimum that we usually get. But let's just cut the crap, radio. And actually, hang on a minute. I'm feeling thirsty. That's better. Okay. What we're going to do is. I'm not going to read over every single price, radio. Well, it does just take up time. It just drags the video on longer than what it has to. So I'm going to point the camera on the prices and you can look with your own eyes and you can have a look and see what the prices are. So the first paper we're going to look at, okay, is the non-Australian business number. In other words, ABM, if you're an international viewer. So this is just my free stuff I collected. This is what I got paid for with the free stuff. So let's have a look at this. And so here we are. These are the prices for what I got today from my free stuff. You can have a good old look at it as I, uh, oh dear, dropping stuff upstairs. Have a bit of a look. Check it all out. Maybe you can compare it with what you get, but um, fair to say, uh, my prices here in Brisbane, Australia, are exceptional. Okay, very, very good. So this is just without an APN. Pretty standard stuff. Okay. You happy with that? You happy? Sure. Okay, so. Free stuff is in out of the bin. Mind you, I've still got more, but that's all I talk. $372.90. Isn't that the grouse? Okay, wonderful. Fantastic stuff. And that was that. I hope you found that part interesting, if you've watched it. Now we're going to move on to the... Uh, business side of the paper okay this is the other paper in which is the business side and using an Australian business number in short form in ABM for all you international people who are not sure what that was wait a second it's quite hot today oh, no, nothing too extraordinary but uh 33 degrees not fahrenheit or whatever 33 degrees okay pretty warm now again let's show the uh other paper of what we got and there we have it okay this is what we've got using an apn i'm not going to read it i'm going to uh, for goodness sake i'm going to let you look at it you can run over it with your own eyes, okay? Look at the price for the uh, number one copper pipe. $12.80 Australian a kilo. What about your number two pipe? Look at that. $11.95 a kilo. Yes, this is Australian dollars, radio. Not damn bad, almost $12 there for burnt copper. Your um, bright and shiny copper, I'm fair to say, it'll be about $13 or over $13 a kilo for bright and shiny. Guess I should have taken it today, eh? Oh, well, never mind. It can stay there. So look at this. You dirty rats, okay? Hopefully you can understand why I don't bother cleaning them for the time it takes. $5.60 Australian a kilo for a dirty rat. Okay, if I was to clean it, I'm only going to get an extra 30, 40 cents a kilo. Not worth the time. 
or the effort involved. I mean, it's not hard, but it's not worth the time. Radio. So there you go. Look at that. Even your low-grade cable. Look at that. Four dollars fifty-five a kilo for your low-grade cable. Pretty good prices, I reckon. And fair to say, based on what I've seen so far this week, I reckon I'll be even higher next week. And I forgot to show this. So that was the overall payout for uh, the business side of things. And as I said, if I had bought, you know, the 16 kilos of uh, clean brass, it would have put us over the three grand mark. No problem. You know, even the two, the 25 kilos of bright and shiny, that would have done it no problem as well. But uh, you know what? I've saved it for another time. Okay, no big deal. Still good enough. And that, my friends, brings us to the conclusion. The final scene. The director is saying, that's a day, let's wrap it up. So, um, hope you enjoyed the video, or try to, you know. That's the usual thing. Peace, my friends. Um, I'm out of here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bidding, you know what I mean? And um, I'm sure there's going to be some more videos popping up pretty soon. Because right now, I've got some stuff to do. Yeah, we'll have a sip with one of it. But this is what I'm going to do now. That's me cable stripper. Okay, it was money well spent when I bought it a year and a half ago, or nearly two years ago. Fantastic machine, just under a thousand bucks, okay? And um, that cable there is what I'm gonna work on now. And there's more in that drum there. So uh, I'm also well end the day with that, with a few more cans. <laughs> and yes, I'm back sitting on the chair, nice and comfy. Anyway, it's a wrap from me. Stop, turn it off, come on. Catch you later. Peace out, my friends.